boys and girls and welcome to Kinetic Letters. So this week we're carrying on with the jumper family. Now we did the jumper family before Christmas but we need to go over it because it's easy to forget and we need to get these right. They're all down bump. So yesterday we practiced okay so we're going to do three by the tree to warm up to make sure we remember that down bump action. It's so important for today's letter as well. Brave monkey's branch scared monkey's branch. Now two of our jumper family letters start at the brave monkey's branch and is one of them and the other one we're going to be doing in today's lesson. So we go for a down bump, back up, push over, down bump, flick. Remember we whisper the flick, we don't want big flicks. Down bump, back up to the scared monkey's branch, push over, down bump, down bump, back up, push over, down bump, flick. And I actually think my second one is my best today. I think that one looks really nice and neat. I've already lost <laughs> my three friends hold, so no monkey smile for me, but I think I deserve a turtle tick. Right, off you go, three by the tree. Welcome back, brilliant warm up today. Now, I said today that it, this letter we're going to do is a brave monkey letter. So bounce is helping us, okay? Now, we really need to get the hang of pushes and pulls. And in this family, we are pushing. And when we push, we push away from the tree. And this letter here, the b b b we often see people mixing it up with a d, d, d. Now a d has a pull at the beginning and a b has a push at the end. And it's really important we start in the right place for this letter. And like I showed you in phonics yesterday, you can see the b and the d, our thumbs are a really good way to help us remember the difference between a b. A b starts at the brave monkey's branch down back down, bump, back up, push over, pull around. Now push away from the tree, we go away. We're pushing, we pull to the tree, we push away from the tree. And we're gonna play a game one day this week where we really practice those pushes and pulls. Maybe towards the end of the week we'll have a go at that game. It went down very well in school, it got very competitive, so we'll have a go at home as well. For today though, we're going to practice that b, 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 and then we're going to write words with b and d in, just to see if you've been listening. Right, let's start with bounce helping us. We need to go all the way to the brave monkey's branch. I'm not sure I can fit in the screen if I do that. But you need to go really, really, really tall. Bounce is so tall he's off the screen. Down, bump, back up, push over pull along the ground and do it the same size as the screen now so you can see. Down, bump, back up, push over, pull along the ground. Everyone, can you stand up for me where you are? And I want yours to be bigger than mine, arms straight in the air at the Brave Monkey's Branch and hit that floor. And I'm gonna keep mine in between this screen so you can see. Are you ready? We're gonna go all together. Arms at the Brave Monkey's Branch, boys and girls. Okay, down, Bump, back up, push over, pull along the ground to the top. Down, bump, back up, push over, pull along the ground. One more time. Down, bump, back up, push over, pull along the ground. Okay, now's your chance to practice your b b buzz. Practice in the air, nice and big. Practice on the back of your family. Practice on the floor with your finger. You could use a paintbrush on a lovely sunny day. You could put some water on a paintbrush and do it on the pavement or on the, the um, patio outside if you've got some stones outside. You could do it on the brick wall as long as you're using water, not real paint, boys and girls. I'll be in big trouble. Glitter, you could do it in glitter. You could do it in sand. You could use a bit of flour if you've got some flour. Draw that b, b, b wherever you can and then come back to me and we'll practice some writing on our paper and whiteboards. Off you go. Okay, welcome back. Time to write 
some b, b, b words. Now these words are going to have b and d. Have you been listening to where b starts? Don't forget, d starts at the scared monkey's branch. B, brave. B, brave. D, scared. Okay, don't get them mixed up. The first word is bed. Can you write me bed? Sound out bed. All together, b, e, d, bed. Fantastic, well done. Down, bump, back, up, push, over, pull, along the ground. E, b, e, pull around, push along the ground, up, sprayed monkey's branch, down, bump, flick. D has got a flick, b has got no flick. Remember, turn my chair around, pull this out. I showed you my b. And my D on my thumbs is a really good way to tell them apart. B and D. Okay, take a picture. Oh, I've lost my rubber. Write me bed. There we go, it's back. Write me bed. Brilliant, well done boys and girls. Okay, next word. Don't forget to stop mums and dads so they can have a go at writing in their own time at their own speed. Let's do dab. So if you dab something, you're just gently poking it. It's the best way to describe that. If you write dab your paint on the paper. Dab. Sound out dab for me. And again, all together. D ab dab. Okay. D. We're starting this time. Where does d start from? Pull around, push along the ground, up to the brave monkey's branch, down bump, flick. D, A, B, B, brave monkey's branch. Down bump, back up, push over, pull along the ground. D, A, B, dab. Take a picture. Write me dab. Okay. Next one. We're going to write the word bap, which is what some people call a batch, a sandwich. So we're going to write the word bap, and we've got a p, which is something else that gets mixed up with a b and a d sometimes. It's so tricky, isn't it? So, so tricky. So sound out the word bap for me. Brilliant. All together, b, a, Bap. It's not a purr, it's a p, 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 p. B, a, p. Bap. Down, bump, back, up, push, over, pull along the ground. Pull around, push along the ground, up to the scared monkey's branch, down, bump, flick. P. Brave or scared? Yeah, scared. Down, on down, back, up, push, over, all along the ground. That's a, we're going to practice that in a lesson this week because it is a tricky one. But app bap. Take a picture. Okay, well done. Off you go. Okay, now this word here. So Nicholas is feeling a bit crazy today. So we've got consonant blend in it, which is normally phase four. We're going to challenge ourselves because we like to challenge ourselves. The word is band. I am playing guitar in my band. I can't play the guitar, but band. Okay, so sound out band. You can hear me saying it. B and band. Four letters. B and band. So we're going to start with our B. Down, bump, back up. Push over, pull along the ground. Ah. Mm -hmm. The band were playing really great music at the party last night. B and band. Four single sounds. For four phoneme word. Okay, take a picture. Can you write the word band for me? Mm. 
Well done, boys and girls. Super kinetic letters today. Well done. Now, we, I've done a 10 minute lesson today, maybe 11 by the time I finish this bit. Um, keep on practicing that but under. Use your book club books, see the difference between them, really get it into your brain. Keep practicing that but wherever you can. Um, if you want to challenge yourself more, take those four words and put them into simple sentences. But I, if that's all that you can manage today, then this is where we stop. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow for more of The Jumper Family.